The most recent uh, Michigan Public Policy Survey here at the Ford School included a battery of questions on uh, public sector employee unions among local governments in the state of Michigan. So these are uh, counties, cities, townships, and villages uh, all across the state. And what we found is that 27% uh, of these local governments have employee uh, labor unions, relatively small percentage. Uh, but among those jurisdictions, 78% conducted negotiations in the last year on a variety of topics such as employee pay, fringe benefits, uh, staffing levels, and work rule changes. Across these four topics, uh, the most common outcome uh, was union concessions on fringe benefit issues. Uh, among jurisdictions that negotiated on this topic, 69% report that uh, labor unions made concessions on fringe benefits. Only 5% report that the jurisdiction made concessions. Well, we think that these uh, union concessions are, are driven by a number of things. Uh, certainly some of these state laws are, uh, are having an impact. Uh, but a number of our local government leaders uh, told us as well, in their jurisdictions, the uh, labor unions came to the bargaining table this year ready to make concessions uh, because they understood that the, uh, their employers, these, uh, these local government units, are in fiscal distress. The bad news for unionized employees among uh, Michigan's local governments is 60% of these jurisdictions expect to seek uh, new concessions in the upcoming year. Uh, among jurisdictions uh, that are significantly less able to meet their fiscal needs, 85% expect to seek uh, new concessions from their labor unions.